Hi there, it's Phil from parklings.com. I hope you're well today. Now, today I'm going to be making cinnamon roll cookies. Now, if you've ever tried cinnamon rolls, cinnabons, that kind of thing, you'll absolutely adore these. Now, lots of cinnamon, put in more if you want, um, but uh, it reminds you so much of Christmas. It's now February, so, you know, still wintry. Uh, so, perfect time to make it. A cup of coffee, hot chocolate, whatever you wish. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think you'll really love these. Now, Normally I would say to use butter, but on this occasion, purely because I have it, because it's at the moment better financially to buy it, I'm using a baking block, which is basically a vegetable oil based butter. Uh, it's also um, vegan. I'm personally not vegan, but I thought I'd give this a try anyway. Um, as I say, during these times, uh, it's best to go with sometimes the cheaper option. And that's what this is. It's half the price. Uh, so I thought we'd do this. And then at the end as well, I'll just tell you about what the difference is uh, between using butter and the vegan option. Okay, so with that then, let's get on with making these cookies. These are the ingredients for the cookies themselves. Uh, this is a three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. We'll have two teaspoons of vanilla extract, quarter teaspoon of salt, uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we've got room temperature butter, three quarters cup, one egg, again room temperature, and there we have two and a quarter cups of flour. So uh, let's get started. Let's start by adding the butter. Now we'll just uh, beat this until it's nice and smooth. We'll add the sugar. I'll just Put the edges down and mix again. Now I'll add the egg. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And we'll go ahead and mix it again. Now we'll add the dry ingredients. So here is the salt and the baking powder. And then we have all of the flour. I'll actually put that in in two pieces. That way we're not going to get it in all over the place. So we'll just give it a quick stir around. Just did this on slow to start with. Otherwise you will end up with a whole load of flour everywhere. Just put the rest in. Another twist around. Now it should all mix in, but don't be afraid to get your hands messy. So let's just grab in, just in case I miss some of the flour. Let's see there, some of the flour's missed. Now if it becomes too moist, or it doesn't come together properly, you can always add a little bit more flour. Okay, I think we're pretty much there. So I'm gonna get everything off the beaters as well, and then we'll carry on. So this is half of our dough. So we're gonna roll it out now to a rectangle. I'm going to do it to roughly nine by seven inches. I'm glad to say that this rolling pin is very good because on the edges here, you'll see that we have this yellow thing. That's actually, so it measures exactly one quarter inch in depth. There are other ones, so I have like here, this is two millimeters or one sixteen inch, 10 millimeters. 3 8 inch, quite useful. So let's just keep rolling this out. I'll take this butter here and melt that in the microwave. So we're going to take this melted butter and we're going to paste it across all of this. Here we have a quarter cup of white granulated sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. So we're going to get this all put over here. So basically the butter is holding the cinnamon and sugar on. And for me, the more 
cinnamon the better. I absolutely love cinnamon. Make sure that you keep a line there at the top free of any of this sugar. What it'll do then is it'll let you stick this gluey butter to one end to the other. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. And then we'll just spread it across. Okay. I kept a little bit of butter back here. So just to make sure it still will stick, just put a bit more, a bit close to the edge there. Okay, so we'll turn it back because the butter will be what sticks at the very end, not at the beginning. And now you're not going to use your hands. What we want to do to make life easier is use the paper here. So what we'll do is we'll take the paper and we'll just bend it over a little bit. While you've got it there, just press down a bit on there. Smooth it out. And then using the paper, hold firmly, push and push down at the same time. So you're pushing forward and down. So there we go. So this bit here is fine. So we carry on and we keep going. Again, making sure it's nice and firm. Let it roll. Don't push it down into a square. And then soon you'll see now we get into the bit here where the butter is. So let's keep on going. And get that's done. There we go. Okay, so as you see there now, that is done. And that should seal with that butter there. It went a bit over there, unfortunately. It's just so what you can do if you want is you can just nip it shut a bit if you wish. The ends are a bit off, so you can squish them in. Okay, so what we do now is we'll just make sure we can roll it up properly. So put that there. We're going to make it into a little roll. So if we do this, make sure it stays nice and tight in here. There we go. So we're going to do that with both. We can twist the ends here. That way we we'll make sure that you won't get any cinnamon falling out the edge. Do this on this side. There we go. So we're going to do the same with the other one as well. That's going to go in the fridge and it's going to stay there for about two hours. And then we go to the next stage, which is going to be slicing it into cookies. So we'll come back to that in a couple of hours. Here you go then. So that's now been left overnight. I did say two hours, but that's fine. Um, so if I just cut this last one off here at the end, we will still cook this, of course, but I'll give you an idea of what we have. There you go. It's all cinnamon. You can see through there quite nicely. So it slices up here. Now, they don't need to be really thick. That's about it there. So on our baking tray, we'll do 12 of those. Uh, so I'm just going to cut them up quickly now. So there we go. We've got our 12 here. That's going to be the first baking sheet. Uh, we've got the best part of half that again. And we have the other roll as well. So we're going to make quite a few here. Uh, hopefully we'll get 36 out of it. We'll see how it goes. I've preheated the oven to 350 Fahrenheit, uh, which is 180 Celsius or gas mark four. Off to the oven they go. So I've just put the tray into a preheated oven. Uh, that's at 350 Fahrenheit, which is 180 Celsius or gas mark four. And uh, they'll be in there for 11 minutes approximately or until the edges are golden brown. Personally, I like to, at halfway point, open the oven twist the uh, baking tray around 180 degrees, obviously horizontally, not vertically, and uh, then just leave them in there for the rest of the time and double check. They should be ready by 11 minutes. If not, just leave them a little bit longer, just keep an eye on them. So there you go. 
12 absolutely lovely cookies. And there's someone in here that wants some, I think, but you can't have them yet. Well, there you go. I do hope you enjoyed the video and you'll make it yourself. Now, I did mention at the beginning that there are differences between using dairy butter and the vegetable oil based alternative, which, as I say, is a great thing uh, if you're vegan. Uh, now, two big differences. The first one, I found that when you are baking them, it takes longer. So with butter, it takes about 11 minutes. With the alternative, it takes somewhere around 14, 15 minutes for it to actually tan on the outside. You'll also find the other thing being that the texture is different. So if you do it the butter way, you'll find that you get more of a, a tougher consistency. So it's sort of more of a crunchy base, you can snap it. But if you do it with the alternative, what you'll find is it's more sort of spongy, cakey almost. Um, so you can actually bend it rather than snap it. So the outside becomes quite crispy, but the inside is sort of bendy. So it's, it's really, really nice either way. Uh, personally though, um, I prefer the butter option, but do what you think is good. Try both, see what you think. Okay, so I do hope you enjoyed it. Hope you try it yourself. And uh, with that, all that's left to say is uh, goodbye and God bless. Bye bye.